Hey guys, I'm here for another review. This time I have a super awesome cool thing to show you and it's the Obitsu Dogs. And what I have with me today is the Type A in white and just a little bit of like, you know, if you're curious about these dogs, they come in basically three different colors, I guess you could say. There's a white, a clear, and there's a black. And there's also different types as well. There's this type A that I have right now that has pointy ears and then there's a type B that has kind of like floppy ears. And the tails are also different between the type A and the type B. And personally, I like this type A. It's kind of like a, I don't know, Doberman pitch, pincher type, like, you know, guard dog type thing. And I really like him. He's really cute. But anyway, um, they are made by the Obitsu company. So that's why we have the Obitsu logo and all that fun stuff over here. And since it's made by Obitsu, you know the joints are going to be amazing. So without any further ado, let me go ahead and start the review. So as you can see, the Obitsu dog is not any normal type of doll or I don't know what you would actually classify this as, maybe like a figurine. Um, it is covered in all sorts of joints and hinges um, that enable it to do all sorts of cool positions and have all sorts of cool like action posing capabilities. Since it is an Obitsu product, um, you are able to take it apart and put it back in. Just like you would in your other Obitsu friend dolls, except for this is a dog. Um, so all the parts are detachable and they're super awesome and cool. Starting off with its head here, you can see that he has a very cute, alert doggy face. This is the type A. Um, the mouth does have a little hinge so it can open and close. Um, it can go really, like, really wide. Or just kind of like a normal dog type open mouth position. Um, it can turn its head from side to side and all the way around, actually. Um, it has these different little joints in it that allows it to do all these cool crazy poses. Um, this just neck joint in general is just crazy insane awesome because it's just it moves so well like it can do so many different little positions and look and hold its position because I'm like I'm moving it and even though it's really simple to move like it's not swinging like loosely around. It's, it's positioning itself to, to move. There's also another hinge, I guess, or another swiveling part right here that enables its neck to go up and down. Um, so it has that little slit right here that it travels through. And um, that enables for more posing. It's like, what? Following it down to the arms, it has different little parts here that allow different ranges and positions. It has a small other kind of hinge right here that enables it to go out and in and it also can move up and down or forward and back I should say. Little pause the back is really amazing, like, I was totally stunned when I was playing with it because I find myself just sitting here playing with the dog a lot because he can do so many crazy poses and I'll take some pictures at the end showing you what he can do. It's just amazing. So, I mean, this is the spine. You can turn side to side. It's like moving backwards. You can do the cute little position where it's like, it's like a little 
butts in the air and it's like looking up like oh please play with me like all cute um you can also see that the tail has that same similar um, slit that enables it to move up and down. It has that for the tail so it can move up and down. And like I said, this is the type A, so this is the type A tail. The type B tail has a different looking style to it. Just like the arms in the front, or I should say the legs, I guess they're all legs. <laughs> they can um, move to where it's an open position and a closed position that goes together. And it can go forward and backwards. Same story here. It has different little hinges here that enable them to, you know, move. All in all, I mean, I think it's a really interesting buy. And it's an interesting, I mean, I don't know, like figurine doll dog to have. Um... If you're an animal lover, I mean, this is just a total must-have. If you like dogs, you have to get one of these. They're just, like, the coolest things ever. Me and my sisters play with it all the time, and, like, we make it to all these crazy positions and stuff. And, um, super cute. Um, I've seen people actually modify these further, and they've actually made, like, almost a fur skin or coat for them. And... They make them into actual dogs with fur, and they look really cool. I've actually considered painting over mine, but I, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with him yet. He's just really fun to play with right now. But um, really, if you're looking into having maybe props or some other kind of, um, you know, other animals or something that you want to go with the dolls that you currently have, these are super cute. <laughs> and really fun to play with. Like I said, it, they're created by Obitsu, which means that they are fantastic in their jointing system, and they are able to pull off the most craziest poses and just, you know, keep them. They're truly amazing. I highly suggest that you check them out. Look at all the different styles and the colors and things like that that they come in. As always, you can check out the Junkie Spot, and that's where you can purchase them from. And... I hope you do check them out because they are super awesome and cool. I've named my Obitsu dog Dante. So Dante and I will be wishing you an awesome day and we hope to see you guys in another video very soon.